and those jewelry pieces that Chifa made for the copy collaboration, boy, the detail. It doesn't matter where you come from. You can build a life that you want and make it happen, not just for yourself, but for your family as well. These two mums right here, these two mums right here are just a whole mood. When we don't have that one parent in our life, for some of us, we feel like it doesn't affect us, but it really does affect us in some kind of way. Even though we feel like it doesn't, it really does. They do say that you shouldn't do business with family. Some work, some don't work. And Danita was just going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Shall I go back? Shall I not go back? Is it gonna work? Is it not gonna work? He's like, listen, I ain't got the time for all of that. I ain't got the time for all of that. I ain't got time to be looking for no babes out here. When you have so much passion, into your brand, into your business. You just can't stop. Where's all this energy coming from, kid? I was like, this is a bit too much. You're taking it too far now. We love Benny Girl facts. Hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are having a blessed day. I hope you guys are having a blessed week. I hope you guys are staying safe because you ain't safe out here in these streets. It really isn't. Before we start with this video, please make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit the notification button so you can be notified every time I post a video. And y'all do not want to miss my videos. You really don't. You really don't. You really don't. Anyways, guys, today's video we're going to be talking about high life. Basically, Benicia expresses to her dad that she wants Danita to come forthcoming with her opening up back the salon after a whole year not opening back up and you know she just wants Danita to agree to basically work together as business owners to open back up the salon dad really wants Danita to come forward as well so we're gonna have to see whether whether or not Danita is gonna go back will she go back will she not go back we don't know Denise is very indecisive she's not sure what she wants to do we also have Benicia's dad sharing his story about coming to the UK as a refugee with nothing and building a life and making it and I feel like his story is very very inspiring because it doesn't matter where you come from you can build a life that you want and make it happen not just for yourself but for your family as well even for your future family and your future kids like you can literally make it happen and you know they're just celebrating the fact that they're all making it individually as well and it's just amazing to see our people our black people just making moves just killing it, man. First of all, let's talk about Chifa. First of all, Chifa, listen, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm not a flashy person, but baby, those jewelry piece that Chifa be making, oh, I'ma need to get me one. I'ma need to get me a jewelry necklace for myself at one point. Those jewelry piece that Chifa be making, they are beautiful. I'ma need to get me like a jewelry necklace for myself at one point because baby, my eyes were hurting me from all that bling. Okay, and I'm not a flashy person. As you guys know, Cuppy is launching her first jewelry business with Chifa. And basically, you know, they're all at Cuppy's apartment. And boy, the whole house is covered in pink. Cuppy comes in. Basically, they're having a discussion meeting. They're looking over the jewelry pieces that they're going to have for the collaboration for the jewelry. And baby... First of all, can we just talk about all these jewelry pieces that Chifa be making? And those jewelry pieces that Chifa made for the copy collaboration, boy, the detail, the detail of those jewelry pieces. Can we talk about the pink? You can tell a lot of thought went to all that jewelry pieces. You know it represents copy, there's pink, there's a whole lot of pink in there and you guys know that copy loves pink we also see him talking about you know his love life and the fact that he basically expresses that he's married to his brand and when you have so much passion into your brand into your business you just can't stop you just can't stop until you feel like you've made it like until you feel like you've become successful and his friend is talking about what about your love life like do you not want to settle down at one point do you not want to have a girlfriend a wife i'm sure you know auntie you know basically chief's mom wants grandkids like 
Like, you know, time is ticking, like, what's going on? He's like, listen, I ain't got the time for all of that. I ain't got the time for all of that. I ain't got time to be looking for no babes out here. Just on tunnel vision right now. He ain't got time to find no babes. What? Oh, this was very, very interesting. We also see Camille's mom make an appearance on the show. And basically, Camille and her mom are having a moment, a mommy and daughter moment. And basically you know, talking about the wedding and, you know, how, you know, she missed out on quite a lot of the planning, but now she's here. We also see Camille's mom, Camille's sister, and Camille go to the dress fitting, and Camille tries her, and we see that Camille tries her beautiful wedding dress. Honestly, that dress was beautiful. I'm telling you, it was just gorgeous. And basically, Camille's mom, Camille's sister, and Camille are having this surreal moment. It was such a surreal moment. It was very, very touching. We also see that Benicia and Danita are at the fun fair. They're having fun, they're having a good time, but we all know that Benicia actually brought Danita to the fun fair to discuss about whether or not she is going to come forward with opening back up the business with Benicia to open back up the salon. And, you know, Danita was still going forward and backwards and she's still hesitant whether or not to work with Benita because Danita's whole thing is she just doesn't want to clash with her sister. She doesn't want to ruin, you know, Danita doesn't want to ruin the sister vibe, the sister relationship with the sister over business. And it's very, very risky, you know. Doing business with family is very, very risky. They do say that you shouldn't do business with family some work some don't work and Danita was just going back and forth back and forth back and forth shall i go back shall i not go back is it gonna work is it not gonna work and Danita agreed to go back and we're here for it we love to see it we love to see it we love to see it i'm sure it is going to go smooth sailing i mean it's gonna have its ups and downs like do you know what i mean but we love to see it we just love to see it but we do see that next week they're going to start clashing. You know, they, they're trying to change the name of the salon. And yeah, I don't know. Let me know. Do you guys think it's going to work? Do you guys think that Danita made the right decision to go back to working with her sister? I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. You know, Benicia's whole thing is like, you know what? I'm now 30 years old. My mindset has changed. I'm more older. I'm more wiser. I'm more mature. You know, I'm thinking more about stability. And at some point, you know, when you get to, you know, when you hit a certain age, your mindset changes. Your mindset definitely changes. You don't think about, you know, splashing all the time. You think about stability and foundation and ownership. I feel like in this episode, we got to see more of kid and we got to see more of his vulnerability as well when it comes to you know his dad not being around and basically kid basically in this basically in this episode we see that kid is having like some kind of cocktail meeting launch cocktail meeting pre-launch he's basically gonna have his own cocktail in the menu for some kind of restaurant and basically he really wanted his dad there and his dad said that he was going to show up however his dad didn't show up and kid wasn't really surprised because kid's dad hasn't really been around that much because he's always working he's a workaholic he's a, a businessman so he knew that he wasn't going to show up so he wasn't surprised about that but i'm sure he was very disappointed because he really wanted his dad there now i feel like in this situation i feel like a lot of men can relate to this it's like for a lot of us we say that it doesn't affect us when we don't have our dads around but it does affect us even though we feel like it doesn't it actually does when we don't have that one parent in our life for some of us we feel like it doesn't affect us but it really does affect us in some kind of way even though we feel like it doesn't it really does you now some parents don't know how to show you that loving oh my god i love you affection all the time they just show you the tough love affection so in a way i could kind of relate to what he was saying so yeah let me know what you guys thought of that conversation what would you what did you guys think of kids storyline for this episode because I feel like this is very relatable for a lot of people, especially a lot of African parents. Oh, next up we have Tony's mom and Camille's mom meet for the first time. Let me just tell you something. These two moms right here, these two moms right here are just a whole mood. I love 
Tony's mum. I love her so much. Like, as soon as she walked into the house, she was just embracing Camille's mum and greeting Camille's mum with so much love. There's just so much love in that family. And we just love to see it. Like, literally, as soon as she walked in, she just embraced her, hugged her and said, you know what, I just want to thank you for bringing me my daughter. I was like, I need a mother-in-law like Camille. I need a mother-in-law like Camille, guys. I know I keep saying it, but honey, she's just... It's just so much love. You can feel the love from the screen. You can feel the love from the screen. You can tell, like, she fits in the family so well. So this whole conversation with Cuppy and Kid, I don't know why these two are still having the same conversation. I don't know why they're still bickering. Cuppy's still in her feelings with Kid because she feels like he's changed ever since he went to uh, Big Brother Nigeria. She's still having the same conversation that she had with him last time. Kid doesn't understand what the issue is. He's still confused to where Cuppy's coming from. Like he feels like there's more to it than just this because she's just blown it out of proportion. That's what he feels like. And they're just going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And then I don't know why, but Kid starts digging at her and throwing shade at her about her love life because Cuppy basically brought up the fact that you know, the, the place that they sat out to have the conversation, she's she's been here a couple many times and she's had like about six days. He's basically trying to diffuse the conversation and basically put all the conversation, put all the focus on her and talk about what she got going on because she's too focused and worried about what kid got going on. So they're putting all the focus on what Cuppy's got going on. So he's getting frustrated and he basically starts digging at her. And he's like, listen, when was the last time you had a relationship? When was the last time you went on a date? And he's, she's like, you know, months back. And he's like, oh, months back? That's how long? So basically, Kid goes on to say that, you know, you need to drop this billionaire I am attitude. And you need to stop being controlling and so uptight. And maybe you might find a man for yourself, a man that will care for you. I was like, oh, the shade. Why is he going in at her like that? That is rude. That is rude. Like, he went way too far. I was like, I would have just walked out. I would have been like, oh, this conversation is done. I would have not even thrown a drink at him because that was just pointless. Like, Cuppy, why'd you do that? But I'm guessing she was really frustrated and she was really hurt. Like, nobody wants to hear that, man. So, especially from a friend, especially from someone that you thought was a friend. Like, why are you coming at me like that? So then, you know, Cuppy's confused. Cuppy was like, I did not ask you for no relationship advice. That is none of your business. It's none of your concern. Where's all this energy coming from, kid? I was like, this is a bit too much. You're taking it too far now. He was going in. He was going in at Cuppy. I was like, going in. He was going in at Cuppy. I was like, oh. I'm basically just trying to give you advice on things on how to get a man. Why are you, why, why are you telling me this? Cuppy's whole thing, like, I don't need your help. I don't need, I did I ask for your help? I did not ask for your help. And he was like, well, you definitely need help. And he was like, listen, you need help. I was like. And she dashed the drink at him. I mean, listen, it wouldn't be me. I would have just walked out because you're not about to get all that energy out of me. Like you were basically trying to get a rise out of me. At, at that point he was trying to get a rise out he was trying to get a rise out of cuppy perhaps he was a bit frustrated because he was, she's just been going in at him going in at him going in at him and she he basically got frustrated and went in at her and i'm so here for it because next episode the sister basically tells him like what you said was out of order like you need to fix up mate so yeah that 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 wasn't right that wasn't right at all but anyways, y'all, what did you guys think about this episode? I feel like this episode for me was all right. You know, it was it was okay. I would give it a 7 out of 10. I still love the show, but I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Like, that's it. But let me know what you guys think. Um, what you guys make of this review? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And I shall see you on my next video. Bye.